Lesson 2, Equivalent Fractions. Working with proportions simply involves working with equivalent fractions, so let's make sure that we're comfortable with them. In this set of exercises, students are given three values in a proportion, and they need to figure out the fourth value using multiplication or division. Sometimes the missing value is on the bottom. Sometimes the missing value is on the top. So let's go ahead and go over three examples. Remember to go from the full side to the empty side. So in box A, this is the full side, and this is the empty side, because one of the values is missing on this side. So using multiplication or division, how did you get from 3 to 15? And we did that by multiplying by 5. So I'll write times 5 in the numerator. And whatever you do in the numerator, do the same thing in the denominator. Right, times 5. 3 times 5 equals 15. 8 times 5 equals 40. Write it down and circle it because that's our answer. Next example, take a look at letter C. Here we have 10 over 35 equals blank over 7. So go from the full side to the empty side. How did you get from 35 to 7? Well, since it's getting smaller, I know I'm going to use division. So I'm going to divide by 5. Whatever you do in the denominator, do the same thing in the numerator. Right? Divide by 5. 35 divided by 5 gives you 7. 10 divided by 5 gives you 2. Write it down and circle, and you're done. Now let's look at letter Q. Here, this problem might look like it's written backwards compared to the other problems. But just remember, go from the full side to the empty side and you'll be okay. So here, how did we go from 45 to 5? And we got there by dividing by 9. So I'll write down divide by 9 and write down divide by 9 in the denominator as well. 45 divided by 9 gives you 5, which is right there. 54 divided by 9 gives you 6, so write it down and circle your answer. Again, remember to go from the full side to the empty side to make things easier. If you need to, you can go from the empty side to the full side, but some students might find that a little more difficult. Let's go back to box Q to see how that looks. So here, we went from the full side to the empty side. What if we did the other way around instead? So let me erase this. And we'll go from the empty side to the full side. So starting with 5, how did we get to 45? And we did that by multiplying by 9. So I'll multiply by 9. And whatever you do on top in the numerator, do the same thing in the denominator. Here, 5 times 9 gives you 45. And now students need to figure out what number times 9 gives you 54. And if they can work it out this way and realize that 6 times 9 gives you 54, then they can arrive at that answer that way as well.